Okay, over here to the right, uh, this gives us an idea of where we're headed. We start with this equation, which is the equation of a parabola. We'd like to put it in a form that will allow us to identify the vertex. I prefer to put it at, refer to standard form as y equals a times x minus h, the quantity squared, plus k. And when it's written in that form, you can identify the vertex as hk, which is the coordinates of that point right there. To complete the square, what you want to do is collect the terms containing x, x squared, uh, 9x squared minus x equals and transpose the other two terms, the negative 6y and the negative 9 to the right side of the equal sign. And then before completing the square, you have to have the coefficient of x squared equal to 1, or at least that's the easiest way to complete the square. So divide every term on both sides by 9. x squared minus 1 ninth x equals 6 ninths is 2 thirds. 9 divided by 9 is 1. Now we're ready to complete the square on this trinomial right here. We want to find the term to fill in this blank that will make this a perfect square trinomial. And to do that, I've shown the work up here kind of on my scrap paper, right in here. You take half of the number, the coefficient of x, half of negative 1 ninth is negative 1 18th, remember that number, and then square it, 1 324th. So if I add 1 324th to the left side, I've got to add the same number to the right side to keep it in balance. And now I can, uh, I pictured actually this term or these terms on the left side of the equal sign, 2 thirds y plus, if I add these two num terms together, I get 325, 324 equals Writing this trinomial, perfect square trinomial, as a binomial squared is x minus half of this 1 ninth is 1 8, negative 1 18. So x minus 1 18, the quantity squared. So if you square this binomial, this is what you'll get. Okay, and then finally, two more steps. Uh, move this term to the other side by subtracting 325, 324. And then finally, what we're going to do is multiply both sides by three halves so that the number in front of y is equal to one. So we'll get three halves times this binomial squared minus whatever 3 halves times 325, 324 is, and it happens to be 325 over 216. Okay, so that's the equation of the parabola written in vertex form. When written here, that's the vertex. In other words, H this number has to be a minus sign, and then this is the x coordinate of the vertex. So 1 18th minus 325, 216 ths. There's some decimal approximations for those values. So there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.